Very good, yeah. yeah. Um, so well, yeah, yeah, if um, if you're gonna, <laughs> so don't be rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, if you uh, if you're gonna put it straight on without changing it at all, obviously it's the same content that anyone else could use. So make sure you put Google no index no follow code on it. Right. And all you need to okay. do is, is tell your web guy, or you can you can search for that Google no index no follow code, yes. and that will tell you how you do that. Um, if you're gonna, right. you know, the other option is you slightly change it, make it an original article, and then of course you can put it on as you like. So both ways, right. get it on your website. But um, you know, it will have yeah. more benefit to you if you can put it on your blog um, as an original article. Yeah. Um, because then, of course, you can link straight through to it from the from the article, and you don't have to put no follow code on there. It'll just make it a lot easier right. for you. And to what extent would you have to change it for it not to be a problem? It's, I suppose it's a question of degree. I mean, what? Yeah. How much of the article I mean, do you need to change? I I. You know, it, that's uh, impossible. I get you. It needs to be an original article, so you don't want. Uh, you certainly don't want a whole paragraph being the same, right. but preferably you don't even want the sentences being the same. But um, you know, I, I, I I've written right. rewritten loads of articles, and rewriting writing one is so much quicker than writing one from scratch because you can just go through yes. and tweak it. But even on your blog, you can put yeah. on the no follow code and keep it exactly as it is. Um, and right. certainly in the right. newsletter, if you just wanted to send one a week. You know, or or you're going to put the whole content in the newsletter, then you don't need to change it at all. Yes, but yeah, we'll, that's right. We'll look at that now. Yeah. So, would you like me to do all the work and you just tell me what bits to put in? <laughs> well, that might be the quicker like option, and then I'll, I'll record it, and you'll be able to go back and do it later. So, yeah. Let me have yeah. your login. Let's get you set up. Have you? Can you see my screen then? Or no, no. This is, this is my or? this is my screen. I could give you control, but as you said, you're not the technical no. technically the best. So if I do it, no, it might no, be a bit no, quicker. No. <laughs> right. No, no. So the, the, this is for Orva, isn't it? I've got. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me just say I've got the codes. You can't see that my screen then with this code on it then. Not at the moment, no. Like Unless I share, no, I can I can give you control, then I'll see it, but then I'll have to come back to mine. No. Uh, right. No. No. Uh, so do you want me to type it or no? Can you I copy need... and paste it or. Just, no. just read out to me. Yeah, yeah. B for Bravo. Uh, the number two. Double E for Echo. This is your login. P for Papa. Yeah. 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 Two. Two. Okay. Then password. Enough. Yeah. Password is a strange one. Um, it's the, obviously they've given it to me. Yeah. Nine Delta zero four, and then three Bravos in a row. B B B. Uh, J J. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got something wrong then. Try again. <laughs> B two again. double E um, B two. Right. That's nice. right. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Nine uh, oh, yeah. delta. D e for delta. Z. Z. Yeah, Z. I didn't get yep. a Z last then time. And the number four. Four. B B B. Then B B B for Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. And then J capital. J, sorry, I should have said ah. uppercase. Does it matter the, the yeah. spaces? Yeah. Yeah. Oh right. Sorry, I should have realised. So it's. Shall I start again? Because they're upper and lower various. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're regretting this. Oh. Uh, nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> nine. Uh, D for delta. Lower case. Yeah. Then uppercase Z. Yeah. Then the number four. Yeah. And then it, the Bs are all lowercase. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Lowercase. Then uppercase J. Uppercase J. That should be right. Yeah. We're in. Great. Oh, okay. Right. Excellent. Right. So this is your default list. So you need to do the basics. I mean, the good thing is it tells you, it guides you through at the bottom. So if ever you decide to set up a new list, which you might do, for example, if you want to do a um, a, a a personal injury guide, if you wanted to write a guide, how to choose a personal injury solicitor, and put it on here in a separate list, you'd you could do that. You know, and it's quite easy. And what you can also do is say, if someone signs up for my personal injury list automatically add them to my newsletter list so there's, see, yeah. there's things you know it's very simple I won't try and confuse you just let me tell you that when you want to do things like that it's all doable and just give me a shout and I can help right. Right, so um, we want to call this something so um, it has to be a unique name because this is the name that they use you know everyone you can't use a name someone else is using so if we call it oh, Car Carter News you happy with that so, yeah, yeah we can do that yeah um, Carter and Carter. Do you want it to come from Chris Carter? I think personal is better than putting Carter and Carter slips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and what email address to you, or do you want it to be info at? Um, probably just to me, really. Is that... 
And that's fine. So every time someone signs up, you'll get a, 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 an announcement. So we save that. Step one. I'm going to need your logo. Right. I don't know if I've got your logo. Let me have a look. Um, Carter and Carter Solicitors Limited. Yeah, that's it, yeah. You are quick, aren't you? Carter and Carter, is that? Um, CNC, actually, I think it is. It is, isn't the it? CNCSisters.co.uk. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted, is it? There we go. Um, I don't know if I've got your logo yeah. anywhere. Oh, right. I can get it, though. Anything's possible. I'll just steal it from your website. All right. Well, I might have it, because we did do some design work. You did it. You did it. Well, your designer did it. Um, oh, hello. I don't want to do that. That was a while ago. Yeah. Let me have a look. Shut your eyes a minute. Oh, God, especially when you get that in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you want, is it? Ads. <laughs> I can't see an artwork file, which is where I normally put it. Tesco and Tesco's ad. No, that's not going to work. But if I... It's got a better logo for me to snaffle anyway. Um... No. Stop pressing the wrong things. I've got it here, but that doesn't help you, does it? I'm just, I'm just oh. going to nick it now. Be easier. Right. Oh, hello. I'll do that. Right. 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 I'll just cut your head off. <laughs> yeah. Charming, isn't it? Don't speak for ages, and the first thing I do is attack you. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I'll do for now, won't it? See oh, you guys. No, about there again. <laughs> Clever stuff. There you go. Have you got a Twitter account? Um, yeah, but but I'm not sure. It's only been opened recently by the SEO right. people. So are you going to ask me for the codes That's, and stuff? No. Or? Please correct all errors. You've entered in valid URL. CNC Solicitors. Co. Uk. CNC Solicitors. Okay. What have I done? That did look right. Did look right, didn't it? Oh, wow. Well. Huh. Now it likes it. How rude. Right, so this is what happens whenever anyone signs up for your newsletter. Um, and you can do it from your website or you can add people. As soon as you, what I would suggest for you is, as soon as you talk to a client, you start adding them to, to this database. So sooner after it's because you haven't got instructions. Even if oh God, yeah, absolutely. Because, because you know, this if someone's talking to you and they get an email saying click this link and and you know that's good, they will. Yes. You know, they won't think about it, yeah. and then they're on your database. So even if they don't instruct you now and they say, "Oh, I'll leave it a couple of months," you then can talk right. to them for two months and they remember who you are. Um, so right. we make this we make this copy here really simple. All we want them to say is, "Please click the link below below to confirm your email address." Yeah. Um, and at the top here, confirm your subscription. We don't want to say that because that's just going to scare people. So, response required. Yeah. Please confirm your email address. So, if you you have a chat with someone who's interested, you you say to them, okay, I've got your details. What I'll do is I'll send you an email now, so that you've got my contact details, and then you can get and then you know where I am if you want to ask me any further questions. So you add them to this database, and they're going to get this email. So confirm, click the link. 
which they're going to do because you've just told them they're going to get yeah. an email and they're on your database. Alternatively, you can yeah. import from a spreadsheet, but you know, if we're talking about one or two people a day, I'd do it as close to the time as you talk to them as possible because then you're going to, um, yeah. they're going to do it. You know, they'll be, they'll be happy to do yeah. it. Right. So you're going to show me presumably how, how we actually generate that email to them, or is that? It, it's all automatic. Yeah, I'll show you after. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'll show oh, you all. And I've got to set it up first, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Carter, Carter, Carter. Solicitors Limited. You said, didn't you? It is limited. Yeah. Right. Completely Success limited. page. Um, do you have? Are you able to add pages easily? You add to the blog, do you, or no. do your SEO guys do it? The SEO do everything, yeah. Okay. Um, where should we send them then? Because what I normally do is if you sign up for something, as you have done different times, you go to a page that says, thanks for confirming your email address, you're all signed up. Um, you won't obviously have that page, so all, what I'll do now, you can always come back and change it. Where's your contact page? Uh, um, there. Yeah. So I'll just link it to this for the time being. When you get um, a different page, uh, it'd be worth um, say to you guys, set up a page that says, thanks for confirming your email address, I'll be in touch. That's all it needs to say. Yeah. So that they get this yeah. email, they click on the link, and then they get taken to a page on your website. It would be better if it said, right. thanks for confirming your email address. But you can change that very easily just yeah. by coming in here, going to my list and list settings, and then clicking on the, the opt-in tab. Remember, this is being recorded, so you'll have a video to watch. I'll share a private link with you so you can uh, watch it through. <laughs> you can it. always just email me and say, where do I go, Nick? <laughs> right. I'm ne struggling. Yeah. yeah, don't worry. That's why I'm doing it for you. Right, next, <laughs> what we're going to do is, we're gonna, this is the worst system ever. This new um, software is horrific, so we're just going to put nothing here. Um, and we're going to say that this is our email. And you don't need to worry, because I'm going to come back and, and change it in a minute. Right. Because it's horrific. It's a horrible new software editor that, you know, they try, the whole point, a newsletter works if it doesn't look like a designed, horrible, ugly newsletter. It doesn't work when yeah. it looks horrible, ugly um, newsletter at the moment. This does. What I need is the old um, template email. I don't want templates. Oh, they make this so hard. It used to be beautiful. Mm. Can I go in and there should be a link to the old editor, which was there when I set this up for someone the other day. These software people think they're like um they're like website designers. They think they've got to change their design um, to make things, you know, just because they're bored of it. When actually the old thing worked yeah. really well. And now I'm stuck with this yeah. dreadful, yeah. terrible thing, which is horrible. And I can't find the hmm. old one. I won't even let me get to the old one. I wonder if it will in broadcast. No, they've taken away that right for you join us. This isn't good, Chris. Right. Oh, no. Oh, I know. Okay. So this is an, it's like a, a, a template that you were using before that was perfect for the job. Yeah, and they've just tried to they've just tried to complicate it and make it look you know look you can't just put normal stuff in here. They're they're making you really try and design it, um, and and you so don't want it designed. But we will have to make do for now, and I'll see if there's a way around it. Paragraph. Your number? Oh one six six three seven six one seven oh one six six three yeah seven six one eight nine zero I think I'll put that's the luck of the main one. Seven six one eight nine zero. Yeah, thanks.
Okay, this is auto generated. Just playing with this now. So will it be plain text then? Is that the, the recommended? Well, you do you do both, but um, it depends what. All right. So let's, I'm going to see what it does now. Um, you you do an HTML which looks like a plain text one, um, and you do. I think oh, you'll do that. Look, I'll send me a test. Um, so you fill in both boxes. The plain text it automatically generates now, um, and you you put in a. Um, uh, basically, you design the, the the HTML one, but you want it to look like plain text, and then you do mm. a, and then it automatically generates plain text one. But I can't believe they've taken away the old editor. This really isn't very good. I used to have live chat on. <laughs> let's let's go through the whole process, and we'll, we'll sort it one way or another. Don't worry. Right. Right. So first off, this creates a form. You don't have to use it, but it's worth setting one up. This creates a form which you can put on your website, um, which. Uh, people can sign up for your newsletter. Um, so we'll change the color in a minute. So what would you call that? Carter and Carter newsletter? Do you want to call it something a bit more jazzy, more exciting? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I can't think of anything like that. No. Um, Legal um, updates? or. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, <I can't> <laughs> uh, me, cheesy marketing guy, no way. <laughs> I can't like that. If you don't come up with anything better, I'm leaving it. <laughs> I better think quickly. You better add. <laughs> right, so you get rid of this advertising Aweber link, get rid of the bottom of the form. You never put submit on any form because people are scared of it because it sounds too formal. Um, you click that and it allows you to do first name, last name. Um, and then that's it, you know, they can add themselves to that. What what colour is your, right. um, you're more of a green, aren't you? Um, yeah. Greeny, blue, turquoise. Out there, isn't it? I reckon. Green, Not far off, is it? I uh, don't know. You're right, it's different to mine. I think, yeah, it's definitely more, it's bluer. So it, don't, it really matters anyway, is it? Yeah, more like that. It's not bad, is it? No. So where, sorry, where is this to go? On our website? You... It can go on your website. It doesn't have to, but uh, you might as well put right. it on there. I mean, you've got well, like you know, a separate page. you've got all that space on there, haven't you? Down the right hand side, or you can put it in the middle yeah. of your page. Um, I'd be yeah. inclined to. Um, I tell you what I do as well. Here's your here's your free picking my brain stuff now. Knowing what we now right. know now, I'd be inclined to um, get your design guys to put in a, a claim box down the right hand side, slightly narrow the width of the middle column, um, and put yeah. put a you know free claim inquiry up there. Yeah. If you have a look at um, basically steal from me. No, notice what we've done there. Um, copy that format on your site because you see that's no wider than your yeah. column there, really. Just a little bit wider. Yeah. Type of accident name. Obviously for you, um, there's other areas of you. Know, you oh, no, you're yeah, just PI now, so you know you can always yeah, copy yeah, yeah, copy yeah. my form there. You don't need a compliance statement. Just first name, second name, telephone email, brief details of claim send. But yeah. if you put that on a page, it saves them having to go anywhere else. Um, and the other thing yeah. is, you, you haven't got, you're such a bad man, aren't you? I give you all this advice. You've got no consistent call to action at the bottom of the page, you know. Free call right. inquiry, call me now on this number, or fill in our free yeah. claim inquiry and get in touch. Right. You've got to tell them right. what to do, because they're not, they'll forget by the time they get down there, so you have to make it really easy for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'd, I'd put a, a, a box down there. Then what I'd do underneath that box is put in the newsletter sign up. So if someone's not, yeah. Ready to to join you? Yeah, let's make this thinner for you so that it will easily fit. Mm. So that that's about the right width, isn't it? Yeah, that'll fit. Once they put a box in, yeah. you can have that on every page underneath the claim form. Claim form there, newsletter form there. Yeah, uh, underneath your right. logos and stuff. Um, and then you've got yeah. you know you've got a chance of someone saying, "Well, I'm not ready to get in touch, but I'll sign up Smart Carter Legal News because that sounds like fun." 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can change this, obviously. Can't. Right, I'll leave the thank you page. Again, you can personalize this. So what I'd be inclined to yeah. do is have a page on your um, website called Please Verify, or which is what mine is called, um, which they go to. Oh, that's not right. Your SEO guys need shooting. They sh you should have a 404 right. page on your site. I shouldn't be able to type in a page name and go to a blank page. Um, write this down. You need to ask them to make sure you've got a 404 error page. Right. Uh, what one of those looks like is, so if I did, if I do Sansa Consult and go to Carter, it says yeah. Force Majeure. That's my choice to make it a bit stupid and silly, um, as you'd expect. Yeah. But, but what I don't get is a blank page, whereas at the yeah. moment, if I go onto yours and put Nick, you know, I get this, which is terrible. And yeah. ba basic. Is it? Why is it terrible? Uh, Google uh, marks you down, does it? No, well, uh, you, your human users no. mark you down because they'll just go off the site and go somewhere else. Um, so, right, as, okay. you know, as a matter of routine now, if we were building that for you, you'd have a 404 page built as part of the, the process. Right. Whoever built this for you in the first place should be shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. About six years ago, though, mind. Uh, things yeah. change and knowledge improves. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it should have a four, you need a 404 page. Um, so right. it means that any time your user gets stuck, they still can find a page. So, I'll, so I'll say in your thank you page would then say custom URL, send it to Carter and Carter dot slash please verify. And that would just say... You've just requested our legal news. You'll get an email from us now. Please click the link in that, and you're all signed up. Type stuff. Right. What I'm going to do for you now, just to confuse you, is um, <laughs> the the one thing Aweb is great at is it allows you to split test, and you'll be amazed that. So I'm going to copy this form, so it's exactly the same. I'm going to change the wording here um, to yes, please, um, and you'll find that you know one form works better than the other which is bizarre I see. because we do a split test here now so a web we generate some code to give it to your web guys and you tell them where you want this code where them to put this form um, oh, stop being a... so right let me so it says create new split test so I'm going to put up both of these um, forms that we just created get them to right. display equally and then when we send this code, I'll email this to you to say you have to go in here. So that code, your web designer, just pops into the website at the exact page we want this form to display. So I would suggest, as I say, that you put it on the right-hand side. And then when you're talking to a client, you can go onto your website. You can just enter a name, email, click send, and say to them, check your inbox. There should be an email from me. Click that. And then they're on your database. It's that simple. Right. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. So there's the Java code, so you can send that straight onto your web guys. So, for instance, on mine, that well, let's go to a better page. Here's one of my Aweb forms. Okay. So what I've just done for you, that's that's my form on my site, and all I've done is that code that I just showed you, which is yeah. Um, get HTML. That code there. That sits in yeah. my page and that presents this form, which is actually hosted by Aweber. So if you then add your details in here, you know what happens. You go onto my email database. So it'll be exactly the same for you. Yeah. That's the same same form up there. It's just different design and position. Right. Um, so we have that for you over here, or, or well, claim mm. form there, and then underneath it we'll have um, the newsletter sign up. And when you're adding people, you can just pop them straight in there. Right. How do we how do we physically do that? Put them into the uh, list. Of... How do you physically you add them on there? Show me that. Yeah, just like yeah. that. Just just add them on. Go onto your page on the website. Type in John Robbins. You know, click send and. Oh, we do, we do that. Oh, they do that, don't they? Right. Well, you. Uh, we, I'd not... say yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I say to you, you should do that when you've got them on the phone as a new inquiry, because then you get them on your database. So as well as doing what you currently I'm with do. With you, yeah get them on there to everyone you speak to so that you've got a chance of, of getting things when you send them a monthly newsletter. Um, and if they find right. it from the website, if you present it on the website where I've suggested, so down here underneath your inquiry form and your thing you put newsletter there, you know, then if yeah. they add their details on there, they'll go on as well. So you'll be catching them from your website and from your new client inquiries, new prospect inquiries. I see. 
Um, and if you start writing guides like how to choose a personal injury solicitor, guides, medical negligence claims guide, you know, you can create different forms, different um, different groups within Aweber. So you can do everything that we've just done, set up another group by going to create manage lists. And you go create a new list, call it Carter Medneg, and go through all the steps we've just done. And you'll you'll have mm. a separate list, which you can then say, um, you know, we'll, that could be a Medneg guide. I mean, if you look at my Aweber form, there's about 50 different groups in there, because, of course, I'm a bit mad about all this yeah. stuff. Um, you yeah. might only do a yeah. PI guide and a Medneg guide, and on the PI page, display the PI free guide. On the Medneg page, put in that free guide, and away you go. Right. Make any sense? Yeah, I think so. I mean, so, so what happens though, if we're wanting, as we are, uh, to contact old clients and existing clients and say to them, you know, do you want to uh, uh, join our newsletter list? Well, what I'd be more inclined is I'd go to subscribers, go to add, um, right. and you can you can add um, import page, you can import a spreadsheet. So you can copy and paste their first name and their email into here. Um, and tell us how they joined your list. These are all existing clients of my firm. In other words, you're allowed to talk to them, and they'll add them automatically all yep. at once. Um, so they'll automatically add. They'll have to click the email, but because the email says please, it's from you and it says please just click the link to confirm your email address, they'll probably do it. So you'll get at least 30 yeah. or 40 percent sign up. So all of your old clients will suddenly go on there and start hearing from you, which is great for getting referrals. Um, and yep. obviously, you'll be adding new people to it as well. So within a short period of time, you should have hundreds of people on there, if not, if not yeah. past a thousand. Um, and as long as you send them at least a monthly communication, you will get referrals, and you will, you know, you will mm. keep people coming back to you, which is the key. Because as we both as we both know, the problem most solicitors have is they finish the client, and they don't contact them again for another yeah. ten years. Um, yeah. Too late. You need to be in front of them all the time because the co-op will be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what, 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 sorry, what's the template I'd use there? You know, if I'm contacting the clients for the first time, is there a template I need to put in here or a message? To, to send your newsletter? Yeah. To, let's, let's do that now. And what I've done, I can nick it from, um, when you go into Samsung, when you log into Samsung IM with your new details, when you right. get them later, you'll, um, you'll come to this page. You go to your newsletter store, and what I've said is, look, you can you can actually view page source, copy this as a template to put in. So if I do that for you, it's going to make your life easier, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. Um, God. And then you'll just be able to copy this in future and just change the links, change the introduction article. Um, but it'll be it, you can just literally press copy last message, and away you go. Jesus, look at this. Why are they insisting on making it horrific? Really, really <laughs> gets my go. It just shows, you know, they're an email marketing company. They don't understand how email marketing works. Oh, mm. go away. There we go. All right, got rid of that. Jeepers. Let's see, at least give me HTML. <sighs> Is this going to work? Let's have a look. <laughs> hmm. Really, that's looking lovely, isn't it? Not back to block editor. I want to get rid of the block editor. I don't think it wants you to, does that? That's really horrible. <laughs> okay, let's go idiot's way then. So I suppose in a way it's... You're just going to drop in more paragraphs, which it, you know it'd be easier for you to use. I will find this offensive, um, but I can see why for for a general user it's going to be easier. So yeah. if we put, you can literally just copy it from that page or from the article we give you. Oh, I, I don't want it coloured, do I? Sometimes you need to put things through Notepad um, to get rid of junk code that comes from web pages so 
If you hadn't, if I hadn't done this for you, you'd be struggling, wouldn't you? <laughs> God, no, I'm, I'm thinking, God, am I going to be able to use it anyway? That's you'll honest. copy, but, you'll copy uh, it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Dear first name. <laughs> so, so, you know, in future, you'll get this, and it'll have, well, so here's your intro paragraph. You'll go in and you'll type whatever you want to say at the beginning of it, and then you'll just copy and paste the first paragraph of the first article into it. Where am I going? So if I just put like I've done here. So paragraph two. So this will be your article. Um, what should we call it? So this one might be, you know, is there a compensation culture? And if you want to make that bold, you highlight it just like you do in Word. Is there a compensation right. culture? Type in the first paragraph or two of that article sentence and then put click to read. then you'll highlight that and then depending you'll literally go to your blog click on the article once it's live copy that hyperlink yeah can you hear me right yes I can oh you're there just, okay uh, I, by what you're saying yeah. I've just yeah. gone deaf in one ear for some reason no no no, no. so I'm you said <laughs> concentrate okay um, you highlight that and then you click up here which shows you that the link and you paste that in there so you, are you saying that you need the actual article on your website to be able to use this, or can you do it? No, 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 you can put the whole thing in there if you want yeah. to. Um, so this is the, right. the, the way I do it. If you're going to do more than one article in it, if you decide to do a couple of them, because there's employment ones in there, and you should be doing wills by yeah. now, shouldn't you? Wills could be some <laughs> nice easy cash for you, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're going to put the whole article in, then obviously, is there a compensation culture? Then just paragraph, put in the whole of the article underneath it. Um, but if you want to click through to your site, then you do that. And then the next thing you'd obviously do is you'd want to close it. Yeah. What is it? Uh, 761890. How do you want to sign off? Kind regards. Up yours. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Well, this last bit will obviously remain, remain the same. Exactly. And uh, just case of putting in the rest of the. Yeah, it is. It is drop. I mean, you play with it. You know, you can't break it. So there you oh. go. That that that's it done. Um, so, you know, that you can just go into here next time and let's save that now. So it says, um, do you want to post to Facebook? If you've linked Facebook and Twitter, that will obviously be your option. Um, set a date. Do you want to send it now or do you want to send it later? Um, so if you're going to send it immediately, right. just leave that blank. If you want to choose a date, you'd go in there and, and select. We'll save this. Um, I'll just show you how easy it is and um, it comes up now. So that's your broadcast message. We didn't put a subject in. That's clever, isn't it? Let's go back and do that. Hmm. You can change that to suit what you wish, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like it, you know. <laughs> it's growing on you, isn't it? <laughs> The trouble. Something at first sounds terrible, and then uh, then it doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> come on, come on. Right. So there you go. That's that's your newsletter. If you sent this now, obviously there's no one on here, so no one's going to get it. Um, you just click Q, and that would go. That's it. You'd be done. If you want to create next month's one, you just click copy, and it will copy exactly what was on the previous one, and you just go over it and change the the content to this month's content. Um, but that, that's how it. How do you actually get, say you've, you've generated, you've created the news, newsletter for us, how do we actually get it into the Orbit? Is it copy and paste? And is it you sort of get it up on a document on the computer? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you so, so you go into the newsletter store now, which is here. You say, right, let's get the personal injury article, which is downloading here. Yeah. Come on. 
faster. <laughs> so is this where all the newsletters will be? You're not yeah. going to circulate them every month by uh, an email. It'll just be a new lot. The, the new lots ready. Your yeah, yeah, the new lots ready. Log in to to pick and choose which ones you want. Or I see. So you get, you get an, an education. Yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. And then it's just a case of getting the uh, article up and then copying and pasting it. Is it? Yes. Or, yep. It's exactly that yeah. simple. So you can, as I say, you can either rewrite it, put it on your website. So let's say this is the article. This will be your process. Um, copy and paste that. So I've seen that. Always put it through Notepad. Oh, that's not copied it. How do you get to Notepad? That's just you open that up on your computer. Yeah. On our, yeah, my yeah. computer, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So I go File Notepad. Um, I see. Copy and paste it from that. And you don't do it through Word because that. Can, can Word adds loads of crap. Of... Yeah, it adds right. loads, loads of rubbish. Um, right. So I've copied that last one. So let's now go in here and say, okay, let's try. I don't know what this is going to look like, but let's, let's try. Oh, perfect. So there is the title. Can I claim against my current employer? Yeah. Let's put that in there. Um, just make sure it presents nicely. Dear first name. Can you have a surname? I mean, what if we haven't got a first name, we just have a surname, or will it default to something else or if not? It, well, yeah, or you could take out the dear completely. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd always try and collect people's first names, um, which is why I set right. up your form to say first name, surname. Because I think yeah. the, these days, formality, you know, it's a lot more relaxed. And if you can say dear Nick, dear Chris, it's, it's better. Mm. So that would be it. Right. Um, I say right. It's all a bit of a blur. I mean, how, sorry, Nick. How do I actually start by? I need to send the emails initially, don't I, to our uh, past and existing clients. So I can't just send them a newsletter, can I? I need to. Is there another? You did show me, didn't you? Another I did. Process. Subscribers, add or oh, import, um, and get their get their name and an e email in a spreadsheet. Yeah. So you'll have. Um, In two columns, you know, it'll be Chris yeah. and then Chris at, and you can just copy and paste this. So that you'll have hundreds, obviously. Copy and paste yeah. them there. Um, yeah. tab, tab delimited, so that's the gap that you've got between columns automatically. How did this sign up? These are existing clients of my business. You did show me this, yeah. And, and, yeah. Then, and then you press. And then you just click next, and it will it will send it all off. Um, and then you'll get an email. A, 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 it'll take a, a few days because they'll they manually check to see if you're not just adding spamming people. Um, but the fact that you say really? I'm, a, no. I'm a solicitor in the UK, these are existing and, park, and mm. these are, I'd say these are existing clients of mine who I'm working with on an ongoing basis. I want to send them my newsletter, um, and that you shouldn't right. have any problem. I've done it before for other other firms. Right. Okay. And then it's sort of have and we done the message? Do you do the message? It's, is there a message that we say, hi, it's Chris Carter, have we done that? You did that, did you? We just did that. <laughs> You're not watching anything, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> you see, you, we done. We've done that, can I make a work excellent claim? And I just put in a little bit of intro for you. Um, and there's a bit yeah. of outro text as well, intro, outro. So yeah. I said, you know, I started off as being a conversation off when people first came to me, I've had an accident where they're really worried about making a claim against their current employer. Yeah. So I thought I'd make this yeah. on my email this month and then at the end of the But is it going to be, sorry, is it going to be a, an email that simply says, look, you're a former client of ours, can you, you know... Well, that's that one I showed you at the beginning idea. when they get... Um, right. autom sorry, not automation. That's the convert to opt in. They're going to get this response required. Please confirm your email address. Please click the link below to confirm your email address from you. So that's what they'll get. It won't be any more detail because if you, I mean, you could change it. You could say, I'm starting a, an email, but they won't sign up. If I think the shorter you keep it, the more chance you've got someone saying, oh, I remember Chris Carter. Yeah, I'll click that. And then they're in. Right. So they will get, that. yeah, this will get, you don't have to do it. 
once you add those people through the import, they will get this automatically. Mm. So from that moment on, you don't have to do anything. Right. Except do the monthly newsletter. Um, but, you know, that, that will automatically be sent. That's the whole beauty of the software. You add them. They get sent this email. If they click the link, they are on your database. They are live. At the bottom of every right. email, there's an unsubscribe link. Legally, there has to be, which makes this software so good because that's why that it, it's not, it delivers 99.9% .9 because people have to have to opt in. They have to click yes, please. I want to to get your email. Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah. Go on. So, 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 just um, so if you've got say a list of 50 names, yeah. you you press whatever it is, and then you could do another 50, another 100, and it'll, they'll just go through yeah, it. Yeah, or you could do all 800 um, at once. Right. <laughs> so yeah. you go subscribe. You log in. Subscribers import, and then do as I say. Put them in there. Copy them across from your Excel spreadsheet. Put in that they're existing clients of your legal business in the UK. Yes. And, uh, and then, as I say, a couple of days later, they'll come out and say, "Yeah, they've all been added." Or oh, we don't believe that that they actually clients. You say, well, and then you just explain a bit more about yeah. what you do and the real people that have actually come to you and used your legal service, not just yeah. people that you're spamming. And yeah. they will they will add it. Yeah. But you know, it's good that they're checking right. because that that's what keeps their software yeah. so efficient. Yes. Okay. And how do I uh, play back what we what you've just uh, shown me? You know, you said it was recording. Is I'll it? send you a, a personalised link. Right. No, look, it says you can create a customised confirmation message here. Oh yeah, that's just that one. So they take you back there. That's the one I showed you. Right. That's fine. I need to revisit this and then. Uh... You'll be fine. It's easy. You're done. Look, when you want to send this month's message, I've even posted in the September content. Once you've added people, go to broadcast. There's your can I claim a work accident. Um, you just click Q now. I mean, it could go exactly as it is now. You wouldn't have to do anything. Um, and all yeah. you do is press Q, and that sends it off. I'll, I'll send a test to right. it and forward right. it on to you so that you can see how it looks. Um, right. But, yeah, before you send an email, just click test, send it to yourself, and then you see what your client's going to see when you're happy with it. You click Q. Right, and then to to in, yeah to input another one. What do you do? It's just go to copy it. Yeah, co I see. copy it. Copy, um, and then it will it will yeah. copy what you last did, delete what the content yeah. that's in there, and, and paste in the new content. It does, it's coming clearer. That it's it will. Really, it will. Yeah, it's, it's, you it's need getting to clearer. play with it. You know, play with it and break it a bit. Um, because yeah. you know, if you don't break this one, but copy that email, then just have a play with it. Right. Excellent. All right? Yes. <laughs>